Welcome to Gemini Explorer. Here we will be using Graph to help us win our fantasy football league. For this mock draft, I have the third overall pick. The two best options to choose from based on their projected points are the players Jamar Chase or Tyreek Hill. To make my first decision, I quickly view both players' injury history. In total, Hill shows a higher number of injuries, but by filtering by time, I see that Jamar Chase has a more recent injury. After reviewing the details shown in the profiler panel, I decided to go with Chase as the safer option. I decided to add the team and the bye week that is tied with Chase to help us filter on choices later in the draft. For my second round turn, I'm left with these three best available options. Rather than expanding on the specific injuries they accumulated, I quickly look at the profiler panels to compare their injury probabilities for next season. Amran Say Brown having the lowest probability was the safest pick. To organize my players drafted, I can group them by their positions. I'll remember to expand on their bye weeks and the teams that they play for to help us filter on next picks. Note here that the label injured for Amran St. Brown is only temporarily for the preseason. I'll jump forward to my fourth pick of the draft, and you'll notice on the left that I've drafted Patrick Mahomes for my third round pick. Here I'm deciding between two running backs, Aaron Jones and Jameer Gibbs. Notice that Jameer Gibbs has relationship lines between week 9 of the bye week and the team, the Detroit Lions, which one of my receivers already plays for. Therefore, I'll decide to go with Aaron Jones for my next pick to diversify my team. Fast forwarding to the end of my draft, you can see the list of players that I've drafted here. Notice that I have a good variety of different players from different teams, which protects me not having to rely on a specific team's overall performance to win my matchup. To further review my overall team in a dashboard view, we have this option to create different widgets. Here I edited a pie chart with projected points per player. What might also be helpful for my team is to review running backs and their amount of touches that they accumulated last year. I'll also create a bar chart for my receiving core. Here I will set the dimensions to display the amount of receptions they were responsible for last year. Thanks for watching.